It is the end of another day, and I am out here excited to see you. I don't know if I am a glutton for punishment. I probably am because I'm trying the same audio thing again. You may not realize the trouble that I've been going through to try and record these videos for you, but I will persevere. I will figure out a solution. I've got some things that I want to share, and I think that hopefully you want to hear them too. Sit back, relax, enjoy. Hopefully this audio is working. Before, what I've been experiencing has been just and it's been driving me crazy. Uh, you have not had to experience it, thankfully. You are not seeing the videos with that, but that also means that I'm not getting the videos out like I'd like. Mr. Beast, I'm sure you have seen him or know who he is, especially if you're on YouTube, you know exactly who I'm talking about. I have recently been uh, introduced to his videos and I really was impressed with what I saw. For those of you who don't know, Mr. Beast is one of the top YouTubers. He's got over 180 million subscribers and he does some pretty elaborate things in his videos. I have known who he is for a while, but I've not necessarily watched any of his videos. I thought it was more of a gimmicky thing and didn't really pay much attention to it. That was my mistake. He is a tremendous talent and force to be reckoned with, and I really did appreciate it. I watched his story uh, recently. As with all new things, I dive right in head first. I didn't know anything about him other than that he had been doing YouTube videos for a while, and he spent a lot of money on his YouTube videos, basically just destroyed things. That was the essence of what I knew of who he was. Yesterday, I watched my first video of his, and I've been consuming an enormous amount of his videos, as well as watching some documentaries on him. If you're not familiar with who he is, he started YouTubing at the age of 11. His videos only go back to age 13 because he had a friend in school who found his channel and he was embarrassed about his video, so actually deleted everything prior to age 13. He's born in 98, so obviously he's young, but he has done extremely well. He started doing YouTube really because he just enjoyed the media. He enjoyed making videos and it was fun for him. He saw some people who were making money and he was hoping to make some money on it, but he really did just enjoy making the videos and posting them and, and uploading and all of that kind of stuff. When he first started out, there weren't a lot of people in school who did YouTube videos, but he found some friends who actually were content creators and they were young and they just started hanging out and doing videos together. As he started getting better, he started getting more and more recognition. One of the videos that really sent him viral was him counting to 100,000. He counted to 100,000 and it was a 40 hour long video of him literally just going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten skip a few, 100,000. And his video editing software actually didn't allow him to have all of the content in there. There was a limit to 24 hours, so his video was actually only 24 hours. It sped up a little bit, but you can see him counting all the way from one to 100,000. Well, he started getting some recognition and he was offered $5,000 by a company to do a video. And he negotiated and said, make it 10. And they rejected it immediately and said, no, we'll do five. And he said, no, make it 10 and I'll give it away to a homeless man. I'll give away $10,000 to a homeless man. So that's exactly what he did. And when he did that, he talked about how that was the moment that really changed everything for him. He had such joy in giving away $10,000 to this man that he'd never met. He had no strings attached. It literally was a homeless man that he saw said, hey, I just wanted to give you $10,000. He said that he got hooked on helping people. It unlocked something. It unleashed something inside of him that he wanted to just continue to give more and more away to more and more people. It was at this point that he also recognized that as he did something that elaborate, his views went through the roof. And he talked about how he cracked the code, he figured it out. And it was, it was a matter of generosity. As his videos have continued to grow, he's continued to give away millions of dollars. Actually, there was one video where he gave away a million dollars. He's done an enormous amount of philanthropic work, all while still continuing to have a good time, focusing on creating excellent videos and pouring all of that money that he gets from the videos back into more videos. He talks about if you don't want to make videos, then YouTube YouTube's not for you. If you're in it just for the money, but you don't enjoy it, you're not going to be able to continue this in the long run. He's been doing it, like he, like I said, since he was 11 years old, so he knows what he's talking about. But it was interesting to see how, as he continued to not just do great videos, spending the money on it, we know that is a very easy formula. Spend money on something and spend enough money on something, and eventually it will start bringing money back in. That's just how currency works. Currency flows. So if you're funneling money through something, money's going to keep flowing through that same 
same funnel. Now, obviously we can take that and say just throwing money away is different, but in his instance with him doing videos, he was funneling funds to the videos and as they continued to uh, get more and more elaborate and he put more and more money into it, it continued to explode and he has millions and millions of views. He's actually said that he's got a, several videos uh, right now that he believes down the road, because they will always be up there on YouTube, will eventually cross that billion view threshold. I couldn't help but think about where scripture says that the world of the generous gets larger and larger. And he is a prime example of that in that it's not just him doing these videos for himself, but he really does authentically want to just give away money. He says he selfishly gets something whenever he is able to give something to somebody else. And he talks about how money is not really anything to him. He doesn't care about it. He doesn't want it for himself. He purchased a lot of nice things at one point in his life. He said he bought a nice sports car and then he actually ended up getting rid of it because he didn't want it. He didn't want the material stuff because it's immaterial. Material belongings are immaterial. They are pointless. They're worthless. And he recognized that and he really did. He, he cracked the code. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story of uh, Mr. Beast. If you were not a subscriber of his, I would encourage you to go subscribe and watch his stories, watch his journey. It really is. It's very entertaining to watch. He spends an enormous amount of money. His team is really, really good. Top notch. The content is really entertaining and watching him just be able to give away this money is inspiring. If you have any inkling for generosity at all, it will stir you up as well. If you are not a subscriber yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up, put something down in the comments. And as always, if you are in the Lebanon area and would like to join me, I would love to share a cigar with you and change the world.